Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial for your Android device that is QPython based on Android. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run the print statement on your Android device. That is how you can actually print out text on your screen, display text on your screen using the print statement. Now to use the print statement in Python, you have to use the PRINT, which is print. And after using the PRINT print, you open the parentheses and inside the parentheses you put in two quotes and then you close your parentheses something like this it's like making a face with two eyeballs in it inside of it so after you've done that you want to go in between the eyeballs and write a, whatever text you want to print out i'm just going to write out hello world and um, let me just add an exclamation mark now notice this text i have printed out and notice that when i run my code the only thing that gets printed out is this hello and this word right here and that is because they are both inside the closing and opening quotation marks now notice that you cannot run your code ordinarily without saving it which means that this is telling you that i am a plain black text i am a plain black text and i can't run so for you to run your code you will need to save it and to save it you need to come over here down at the bottom of your screen and click this save button right here and to save it you need to assign a name to your file i'm going to use um test because we're just testing and once you've saved it as the name you want to use you want to use the dot py function that is the file type you want to save it i'm going to save it as dot py and the reason we're saving this as dot py is because python only recognizes file that is saved as dot py so once you've saved that as dot py you need to click this right here and your file is saved now notice that the print statement right here changes its, its default color to green and this text changes its default color to blue now for you to run your code you come over here and click this button right here and your code runs notice that once you're in the console it shows you that qpython console is running and it displays out your text for you by saying hello world now once your code has finished finished running it shows you qpython press enter to exist and once i click enter it exists the code that is how you run scripts on python now i want to show you another stuff you can also do on python you can also say hello world and then add a forward slash n to it forward slash and the n which means that you're telling python yes i want to go a new i want to go to a new line and once you've added the forward slash and you can write out any text inside the quotation mark too now it says hello world i'm just going to say hello hello python now notice that these are both in the quotation mark and they're separated by this forward slash n right here which means that when i run my code you notice that in about three seconds it shows hello world and then it says hello python which means that the forward slash n which is about which it was supposed to be at the forward here at the end here separated lines into two which means that you can now have a new line after having this first line here with the forward slash n added to the end and that's how you print out statements and add new lines to it thank you for this tutorial like my video subscribe and i'll see you guys next time